What is up YouTube Thrift School over here outside of Goodwill. Haven't been to this one in quite a while. Let's head inside, see what they have to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. Let's do it. All right, first things first, we have lots of media here. Got something sealed up here. Well, that's cassettes, probably not gonna be worth it. Got foils, war. So what I'm gonna do here is just look through and scan anything that's brand new and then I'll start grabbing things that I've never heard of before. And that's usually the way to do it because I buy and sell so much of this stuff that I could kind of just glance over. Oh, they have a little video game section. Lethal Skies 2, I've never heard of, but a lot of these plain games are never worth money. They also have a whole bunch of sealed NCIS sets. Oh, $12. Holy moly. I know they're legitimately sealed because this is a sticker on the outside of the seal, but oh yeah, 12 bucks each. No wonder why they're still here. Yikes. There's bones. That one's $10 because there's tape <laughs> fixing all of the rips in the seal. <laughs> what is that? Oh my gosh, $10 for open box sets? This might not be the place to buy media. How much were the video games? $5 each for old sports titles yeah uh oh so yeah and if i don't find anything in the media we'll move to the next section and i have a feeling at these prices i might not find much all right so i actually found some media but uh the area was getting kind of packed with people so i just grabbed the things that i know are good and i'll go back to that section later but i decided to come on down to the toy section and I found something pretty cool right here. I'll pop the price up here on the screen. This Genius Squares, it's brand new sealed and the price is only $5. So not bad, quick, easy money there. We'll throw it in the cart. I'll show these prices off a little bit later. Uh, there's some really, really good stuff in there, but we're just gonna keep checking these toys, see if we see anything. The prices are still a little high, like this toy right here, this Tech Solar Bot is $12. Um, it might be new. Oh, it is still sealed. You can see it was from some Mary Arnold toys. What I could try to do is scan the front image with my phone and see if it pops up on Amazon. So I scanned the front image with my phone and it did pop up. Here it is. It's restricted. Uh, rank is decent, but uh, it's only selling for $16.99 and they're asking $12. So Hey, if you were buying it for yourself, I guess you're saving a few bucks. Let's see if we can find anything else in the little toy section here. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Jurassic World. Don't know if it's missing some stuff. Eight dollars. I don't know. I probably don't want to mess with that. Maybe I'm leaving money behind. I'm not sure. We got a. Is this is a GI Joe. It's a knockoff GI Joe. GI Bill. All right, we're gonna keep looking. Taking a look in this little miscellaneous area, right on the other side of the toys. These, I sell these all the time, or I used to. Haven't in a while. It looks to be brand new. A box does have some wear, so it'd have to go as used. It's $8, which, geez, kind of expensive, but yeah, it's still sealed. That's cool, we'll scan it in together, see if it's still worth good money. It's a little ice cream maker thing. If it is, then that $8 is not that big of a deal, so. We have our Amazon seller app open. We're gonna hit the little scan button and hit that barcode up and there it is. So, rank has definitely gone up on these, but, ooh, the reviews are bad on this one too. Uh, it looks like $71. That could be why, because the price is so high. Let's check, well, that's the lowest rank. So, used 43, so still worth it to sell it as used. Definitely gonna grab that. Now I'm sure my voice sounds a little weird. It's because I'm holding back sneezes really bad. There's a lot of dust in here and <laughs> I want to keep sneezing and I'm trying so hard not to. Uh, let's go around here to this next little aisle and see what we have over here. Oh, we have some puzzles. Puzzles can be pretty good. This is a used puzzle, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Uh, we have Monopoly Millionaire. I sell Monopoly games all the time. This one's, uh, eight dollars we'll look into that why not might not be worth it to count the pieces but you never know i'll scan it first all 
right, here we go with the scanner. Come on. What do we got? What do we got? All right, here it is. Good rank. Brand new. It's only going for 29, which means use 25. That's still not bad. But to spend eight to make, you know, $14, you're only making six bucks. So it's not worth it to try and count all those pieces. Make sure it's complete in there for a $6 profit. It's going to take a while. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to keep looking. All right, so I'm checking the very back end of the store right here up against the wall. Looking at some of the sporting goods here. I found a skateboard. It's $25, which is expensive, but I noticed that logo right there. That's Element. That's a pretty good brand of skateboard. And the wheels are spinning real nice. Look at that. Very good bearings in there. Just keeps spinning. So, But at $25 bucks with this much wear around it, you can tell it's been loved and used the grip tape's actually in pretty good shape but i'm gonna leave it behind if it was five bucks maybe even ten i'd grab it I, I don't know about that and i found this hockey stick mostly because i'm looking for one a junior pro which makes me think it's for kids i don't i don't know it seems tall enough when i hold it but i am looking for one to mess around with play with but uh, there's no price on it so i don't know what to do about it i might have to leave it so I don't know if they'll sell it to me without a price. All right, I found a very new age Coleman Lantern here uh, for eight bucks. I just purchased a whole bunch of these Coleman Lanterns and I have so many to mess with. I've never seen one like this though with these little bulbs that you replace. I don't know if they're desirable. All the ones I got are kerosene lanterns. So it's kind of cool to see that they make these. I, I have no idea. I don't, maybe it's missing a topper to keep this in place interesting we'll leave that but gonna have to keep looking around here I threw the hockey stick in the cart <laughs> you know uh what else do we got in here some keyboards can do really good especially if they got those super clicky keys none of these really do so we'll leave those i've sold some of those old school mechanical keyboards upwards of a hundred dollars on ebay they sell pretty well for me i uh, haven't found one in a while though so you never what is this it's a crazy looking typewriter. <laughs> uh, is it supposed to be missing all of that? I don't, it's very open to the elements. Looks broken. Uh, oh no. That's pretty sweet. Uh, clear. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this thing is crazy. If you guys know anything about this, it's $20. It's pretty cool. I think it's missing like the whole body. It looks like it got unscrewed. Weird. Very weird. All right, I'm heading back over to the DVDs. You guys can see 50% off red. Not finding too much red, but uh, how I found all of these CDs right here. I, I haven't looked at CDs in a while, and I noticed some sealed ones up in here with all these classical music things, and I'll pop some prices up for you guys. These are pretty good. They're $5 each. Um, this one's used. Not too bad though, some decent value there. But these new ones are where the value's really at. This Giuseppe Verdi Falstaff, never heard of them. Worth awesome money. And then this Der Flagend Holland, Hollander? I don't know. Um, doesn't matter because these are worth good money. And then we have this DVD box set right here. It's $10, I don't wanna spend 10 bucks on a box set from Goodwill, but it's the Beatles and I'm gonna double up my money, so why not take it? Pretty cool, as well as this one DVD. If you guys didn't know, my name is Jesse James and it's $2, I actually got it for myself. Henry Fonda's in it, I, it might be cool, but uh, it, I could still double up my money, make $4 on it, so I snagged it. So I was going to start looking down at these and just start scanning them all when, out of the corner of my eye, I must have missed this earlier. Insanity for 5 bucks, And I just checked, and all of the discs are in here. That's cool. Um, I know the price on these has come down quite a bit, and a lot of people say you can't sell them on eBay. I sell them all the time on eBay, never have an issue, but to avoid that, I would throw it on Mercari, and I think I can still get 15, 20 bucks for it, so it's gonna go in the cart at five. That's a no-brainer. And now we are gonna start going through all of these because like I said, I haven't scanned CDs in a while, and I just don't know, so I'm just gonna probably fly through this bottom shelf probably not do the rest i don't know we'll see if i if i start finding a bunch here then maybe i'll scan it all let's hope for the best 
All right, so I scanned the entire bottom shelf and I grabbed three CDs here, $2 each for the bottom, $1 for the top. Might as well just pop the prices up for you guys so you could see this Roundup cool one, $1 this guy right here actually worth pretty good money for verdi london digital pretty cool and then this one also had some pretty decent value for wolf gang amadeus mozart don giovanni i don't know i don't know i don't listen to that but i'll take it so i came back on over to the toys so i forgot to check this little shelf right here and this hues and clues game it's used so i do have to count pieces but i saw the price at only two dollars i figured i would scan it in and take a quick look and here it is on Amazon. Great rank, selling super fast for 20 bucks. You know, I'll make $9. It really depends on how many pieces are in here. If it's 100, yeah, I guess that's not terrible. If it's more than that, probably not. Uh, here we go. So it looks like it's one game board, 100 cards, 30 player pieces, and one frame. Oh, let's take a look and see how much of a pain it looks like. It could be to count this. For $9, if it only takes me two minutes, it's a pretty decent hourly rate right there. Let's see. Okay, so there's the instructions and the game board right on top. Oh, okay. There's the frame, the cards, and the pieces. Do you want to count these? You know what? Let's, let's just count them. Let's see. All right. Got to love it. So... Just counted, 99 out of 100 cards are here. And I looked, and it didn't fall out anywhere up here. Of course, of course, that's that's just the way it goes. Um, <laughs> so I have to put it back, what a shame. Luckily it only took me about two minutes. All right, so I wanted to just do a quick scan through the clothing here, see if anything cool pops up. And this is kind of nice, it's a Tommy Hilfiger, and it is a uh, what, quarter zip, half zip, whatever they're called, and it, really nice design on it. And red is half off, so it's only $5. It is only 100% cotton. I thought maybe it'd be wool or something until I felt it. Uh, still not bad. I mean, I, I really don't know what something like this is valued at, so. The best way that I find to look this stuff up is not typing it in to eBay, but going to Google Lens on your phone. I'll show you how that works. All right, so taking a look on my phone, I have Google Lens, that's what the app looks like. I'm gonna click on it and we'll try and take a picture of this sweater and see if Google can tell us anything about it. So here we go, we'll pull out the camera, take a picture looking for results it might not find anything maybe it will Let's see so there it is there it is on eBay somebody selling it for $35 somebody selling it on Poshmark for 17 so yeah I mean it is worth some decent money um, it's just what one person is asking for it but now if you don't know exactly like I didn't know if it was a quarter or half zip because I don't sell a lot of clothing I guess it's a quarter zip so now you could use that to quickly relook it up on eBay. I don't know if I'm gonna grab it, but uh, it's still a pretty easy way to look things up. So flipping through the long sleeves, when I saw this, it kind of stuck out to me. I'm like, what the heck? And then I saw Big D in the kids table. It's a band that I've actually gone and seen a few times. Kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if there's any value to this. It's only five bucks. I'm gonna try to look it up and see. So none of this are listed and there are currently 15 just of this band listed and only one sold for $3.99. So I guess people don't really buy their merch, but uh, this one is really cool and it's a size large, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. I don't know, it kind of looks cheesy and cheap to be honest, but you never know with band tees, but that one's staying behind. We'll do a little more flipping through here and might have to call it quits unless I find something really good. So I just wanted to double check the insanity prices and yeah, they've gone down quite a bit. 12, these are the sold listings, $12, $12.99, $13.90, $11.99, $10.99. Oh, well, that's only a three disc one. Um, $7.99 plus shipping, 15, but that doesn't happen very often. Um, this actually might not be a pickup at $5. I might leave this behind. That's crazy, it's dropped so much. I used to at least be able to get 20 out of this, but if I can only sell a $5 thing for 13 bucks after shipping and fees, I'm only making a couple dollars. So I think I'm gonna have to leave it. This is wild looking. 
for the summer a Bud Light um, tank top. It's only two dollars. It's half off. Um, I know Bud Light's not selling really well right now, so I don't know if this would sell. I'm gonna leave it behind. What would you guys do on something like that? Controversy sells sometimes. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, two dollar. It's not really a big gamble, but it's gonna be sitting in my closet for a while if it doesn't sell, and I don't really need more stuff sitting in my closet. All right, so we just left the Goodwill and my total was $48.48. They gave me the hockey stick for $3, which is great because it's a personal buy. If it was over five bucks, I was not gonna buy it because <laughs> I don't like to spend a lot of money on stuff for myself. But 48 48 on everything here, minus the $3. I'm gonna pop up the total expected profit once all of this sells. And I think we did pretty good for about a 30 minute stop. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.